What exactly is normal? I mean, do we do we really think about that? Because, I mean, honestly, I don't think really anyone has a grip on what normal is. I mean, some may be more than others, but for the most part, there's really very little that's normal about this world. <laughs> I mean, if you really look at the whole grand scheme of things, right, it's pretty screwed up. So, um, but normal is like... I guess what, what you perceive as normal is, right? What's normal for you might not be normal for me, might not be normal for the whole world, but there's always some normality that we all share. And that's something we have to focus on if we want to anchor the world in a, in a better uh, consciousness. What normality do we all share? And that's something that we have to draw on. That's something we have to nurture. That's something that we have to grow amongst each other to anchor each other to grow in a healthy communal way um while also promoting healthy boundaries between each other you know you don't want to um just encourage people to submit their will to other people you don't want to suppress somebody's needs because society is determined by you know, uh, a global consciousness. You you just want to promote um, an environment. You want to promote a social climate that um, allows everyone to understand themselves and to grow in their own way while also helping other people grow and develop and accept who they are and who others are. You know, just overall, like, unify um, the world in what we share, basically. That's normal. That That is the normal that we really should truly be seeking right now, I feel, deep down in myself. I'm feeling that very, very soundly. Um, also, another thing I wanted to touch base on is self-love. Uh, self-love is the key to um, evolving and releasing the true potential of your soul power. Um, if you don't love yourself, you obviously can't love someone else. Um, you really don't know what you need. Therefore, you won't be able to give other people what they need. Um, if you can't see yourself, you can't see other people. So self-love is really something um, that can be self-taught. But also, um, you learn that through learning what you don't like and what you don't need too. So give yourself a chance to experience things that you don't like. But also learn from those experiences. You know, don't let bad experiences define you. Let them teach you. It's all about how how willing you are to learn. Because when you are willing to learn, you are then capable of reaching the best version of yourself. Boom!